What's going on guys, Kevin here, and today I wanna to share with you my favorite hikes in Page, Arizona. Page is in central Arizona, right on the border against Utah, and it is kind of the access point to visit Lake Powell, Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, and much, much more. I've been traveling to Page over the last eight years, and I've visited probably a half a dozen times, and it is such an incredible area. If you haven't visited, it is definitely a place you'd wanna to add to your travel and hiking bucket list. You could spend weeks here and still not see it all and real quick if you don't mind if you could give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel it helps me out big time and allows me to continue creating these travel guides for you but anyways let's hop right into my top 10 hikes in page arizona So first up is probably going to be the most famous place in all of Page and probably one of the places that it's most well known for and that's going to be Horseshoe Bend. It's an absolute classic if you're traveling to Page. This is going to be a 1.5 mile hike with 137 feet of elevation gain round trip. It is just an 8 minute drive south from downtown Page. It honestly looks like a green screen once you're there overlooking Horseshoe Bend. It's hard to fathom how big this place really is. Anytime I've ever been there, anything I capture on my camera really just doesn't do this place justice. It is massive. It is inside Glen Canyon National Recreation Area, so there is going to be a fee to enter per vehicle or motorcycle or if you're entering on foot, but we use our annual parks pass, which is $80. For the most widely used entrance fee, it's gonna be $30, and this gets you a one to seven day vehicle entrance pass with all of your passengers included. Horseshoe Bend is open year round from sunrise to sunset. Next up is going to be the New Wave, and this is a 0.8 mile hike with 91 feet of elevation gain. It is also only an 8 mile drive from downtown Page. There are beautiful rock formations. There's lots of fun climbing and scrambling around on the sandstone rock. We've never been able to get permits for the highly coveted wave at Coyote Buttes, but this is an incredible alternative where you don't need a permit at all and not that many people know about it. So depending on when you come, you might even get this place to yourself. The road is a dirt road, but we made it just fine in a Corolla, but definitely park on the earlier side of the trailhead because very soon after the dirt road ends, it turns into sand where only four wheel drive vehicles continue. I'd recommend down Downloading the offline all trails map in case you don't have cell service out there. The trail is marked by rock cairns, but sometimes it is difficult to follow, especially if you happen to get off trail. This is a great place for sunset. We went in the middle of the day, but as photographers, the light was a little too harsh for us, so we went back for sunset and there was far fewer people there. Next up is going to be to Kayak Lake Pal to Antelope Island. This is one of the coolest experiences ever. We did a two day trip for this because we wanted to camp overnight at Antelope Island. We rented kayaks in Page, which was super easy. We did it relatively last minute, but after you get your kayaks, it is a 15 minute drive from downtown Page. You make it to Antelope Point launch ramp, and this is where your adventure begins. Kayaking through Lake Pal is definitely a bucket list experience. Lake Pal is one of the most incredible places in this region of the country, and there's so much to explore there. So after kayaking for a bit, you go to the shore of Antelope Island and once we got there we hiked up to a nice big flat sandy area. It was just maybe a few hundred feet from where we dropped our kayaks. There could have been other people on the island this night but we would have never known because we didn't see a single person outside of our group after all the kayaking day tours were finished. It was a really nice special experience camping out there under the stars. Also just so you know at the launch ramp you are allowed to park your car overnight so you don't have to stress about that while you're planning this. Next up at number four is going to be Antelope Canyon, and this is going to be a continuation of number three because the reason we kayaked to Lake Powell in the first place was so we could access Antelope Canyon and probably one of the more unique ways to get to Antelope Canyon. So if you take a tour to the proper picturesque part of Antelope Canyon, it's gonna cost you a lot of money and it'll be extremely crowded because of how popular it is. However, if you kayak to Antelope Creek like we did, you soon will reach the start of Antelope Canyon where you will kayak between some incredibly tall rocks formations. It's an incredibly scenic day out on the water and as you continue to kayak the canyon will get tighter and tighter and smaller so you will be closer to the walls which is really cool and after kayaking for around 20 to 40 minutes depending on your speed the water will end and this is where you're going to see tons of people parking their kayaks and jet skis and this is where you're going to set out on foot to hike Navajo Lower Antelope Canyon and this has to be one of the coolest ways to explore this canyon.
Next up at number 5 is going to be Toadstool Hoodoos and this is a 1.8 mile hike with 141 feet of elevation gain round trip. This is a 29 minute from Page, however if you are driving to or from Zion National Park from Page, you're going to drive right past the trailhead for Toadstool Hoodoos and it is 100% worth the stop. This is a really awesome, easy, family friendly hike that will take you to some incredible rock formations. It feels like you're just so far out there with the otherworldly landscapes. We went midday as we had a big drive to Page and it was on our way but I bet this place would have been extra special at sunrise or sunset and it was relatively crowded when we went. Once you make it out to the hoodoos there's a ton of open area to explore you'll kind of see people spreading out there's going to be the most popular hoodoos but then you're going to find some smaller ones as you hike out a little bit further. Next up at number six is going to be taking a day trip and doing the drive to Lee's Ferry. Like I said, I've probably been to Page half a dozen times over the last eight years, but it wasn't until my most recent trip that Bree and I did this drive and what an incredible day trip this was. To the very end of the drive at Lee's Ferries, it's going to be 50 minutes from downtown Page, but as soon as you reach Marble Canyon, the last 10 to 15 minutes of the drive are incredible and you're going to want to stop at every single pullout if you're anything like us. Some stops that you definitely have to check out include Cathedral Rock, Cathedral Wash hike, Balance Rock, Lonely Dell Ranch, Pariah Beach, and Lee's Ferry at the very end. And if you have heard of Pariah Canyon, which is a multi-day point-to-point backpacking trip through Slot Canyon, Lee's Ferry will actually be your trailhead, which I thought was pretty cool because that is definitely a bucket list hike that we want to do sometime in our lives. My favorite stop on this drive was probably Pariah Beach. The watercolor was just so incredible and beneath the canyons, it's an awesome place to have a picnic, enjoy the sun, and watch the whitewater rafters go by. So I would plan for some extra time at this beach. Next up at number seven is going to be the Hopi Salt Trail. I actually just uploaded a vlog from here when Bree and I went backpacking at the bottom of the Grand Canyon at this aqua blue oasis. All of the information is going to be in that vlog, but I do want to touch on a few points here. This is on the eastern side of the Grand Canyon and it's outside of the National Park, but it is on Navajo Nation land. The trailhead for this is called Salt Canyon Trailhead and you're going to drive one hour south of Page and then about 25 minutes west on a dirt road. But my Corolla made it just fine to the trailhead, however, this trailhead is extremely remote and if you have car problems that would not be good as there's no cell service and absolutely nothing out there I would definitely recommend having additional water and food in your car. As for the trail this is also no walk in the park. Something I really want to stress for this one is please 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 respect this land, visit responsibly, and leave no trace so we can help keep this place beautiful for years and years to come. All of the permit info, how to get the permit, and cost of the permit are going to be in the vlog. Next up at number eight is going to be Marble Canyon Navajo Historic Bridge and this is a 40 minute drive southwest of Page. You're going to be making the turn off at Bitter Springs and this is actually the start of the drive to Lee's Ferry that I mentioned for number six but this bridge is so cool that it deserves its own spot on the list. Our last visit to Page was also my first time seeing this but this is a very historic bridge. There's two bridges, one for driving and one for walking traffic and you are walking above the canyon. Below you will find some of the greenest water you have ever seen. Colorado River is breathtaking. There are a handful of signs scattered around here that I would highly recommend reading if you're interested in more of the history of the bridge. Next up at number 9 is Lone Rock, and this is another classic spot in Page that I visit every single time I come to the area. It's an awesome place to camp for the night. We use our annual park pass to come here, otherwise you will have to pay a day fee. Lone Rock Beach is just an 18 minute drive from Page. We have visited in multiple cars over the years, but so you know, my Toyota Corolla has made it. Although you should still be careful because there are a handful of roads that intermingle to access the beach, and some of them are deeper sand than others. The last time we were here, we actually saw some of the effects of the drought that is going on in the region. It is definitely a sad sight to see, but it is also pretty eye-opening to see how this has affected the area. Number 10 is going to be Glen Canyon Bridge and Dam Overlook. While you are visiting Page, you will inevitably drive over the Glen Canyon Bridge, and at some point during your visit, you should definitely park and walk the bridge. It's an awesome quick stop. The bridge's steel arch is 680 feet over the Colorado River, and at the time of its construction, it was the tallest bridge in the world. Just a minute up the road, you will find 
find a hike that is also a quick stop. The trail on all trails is called Dam Overlook Trail and it is just 0.2 miles with 39 feet of elevation gain round trip and for the elevation gain there are stairs so it is a pretty easy hike and very accessible. While there's no bend in the canyon here I like to think of this place as a great horseshoe bend alternative. The canyon is just as vast and big but the trail is shorter, it's free, and it's lesser known. Once you're out there you'll be greeted with incredible views of the canyon as well as the dam and bridge. It's actually probably the best view of the bridge. Last up I'm going to have a bonus one and it's going to be Waweep Overlooked. It is a beautiful vista point overlooking the marina and is just outside of town and it makes for an awesome quick stop. You drive right up to the viewpoint where you're going to be greeted with amazing views of the vast landscapes in every single direction. Alright guys, so that is going to wrap up my top 10 hikes in Page, Arizona. Hopefully this video gave you some awesome ideas for hikes to do and maybe helped in some of your trip planning with if you're going out to Page. Anyways, again, if you could like this video and subscribe to the channel, it would mean the world to me. I have a ton of other videos that you may like on the channel. Like I mentioned, Hopi Salt Trail and some of these places I have individual vlogs for. So check them out. And anyways, I hope to see you guys on another video.